Hey there, I'm Fred. Uh, I'm a motion designer, developer, and uh, the creator of uh, Drew. Uh, I would call it Drew. D R A E W. But it's up to you. Um, Drew is a panel for After Effects that brings um, drawing and frame by frame animation uh, right into your comp. Um, no switching apps, no exporting PNGs, uh, just sketch, animate, and sound. In this quick demo, in this quick tutorial, uh, I'll walk you through the core features of Draw, um, how the UI works, how to draw vector path directly in the panel and push them into the timeline, how to control frame durations for precise timing, and how onion skinning helps you uh, to stay fluid and uh, consistent. We'll also explore the difference between automatic and manual mode, depending on whether you want to freestyle or stay in control. All right, let's start with a quick tour of the UI. Uh, right click uh, anywhere to bring up uh, helpful shortcuts and tooltips. Uh, you would want maybe to undo, redo, uh, create a new layer, grab the current frame, send keyframes to your timeline. You have different shortcuts. Uh, I guess that you can map them, otherwise you can find them with a right. Um, you can grab the current frame, for example this one, uh, by clicking there, here. Um, and uh, you will see that you have the grab opacity. This helps you um, stay aligned with your scene and makes it easy to, to trace directly on top of your footage. Then you can set the frame duration uh, to control how long each canvas stays visible on, in your animation. Uh, you've got your, the stroke color picker with transparency, of course the stroke width, uh, to draw directly and only um, strokes in your canvas. So I will push, for example, this, and as you can see, everything is in place. Then you have um, the simplify tool, so for example, Let's use a stroke width of eight points. And this is what you can have. It's already a little bit simplified. But if I use the simplify tool, um, I will have immediately an effect. Uh, the simplify features reduces uh, anchor points to, to give a cleaner shape. Uh, and you can use the smooth uh, switch here uh, to go farther. Uh, using the same factor, but as you can see, it's really uh, smoother. Then you have the fill, uh, the fill uh, color picker. Same way uh, you have here the transparency, and then uh, you can, if you use the switch fill, you can immediately fill. So I have the, the smooth and simplify here, which are <laughs> set it, so I will undo this. And then, as you can see, I can sketch what I want with the opacity, uh, and I can push um, as a layer what I've just drawn here, and it's editable. But we will see this later. You have the render switch to toggle if you want to use layers or keyframes, um, because you can send uh, a stack of layers or you can send um, a single layer containing uh, all the keyframes. So it's a keyframe layer with all your shapes animated based on the, the duration here, the frame duration. Um, and finally, the top bar uh, includes the send to AE, of course, uh, the eraser to remove the last canva and the uh, clean tool uh, that clears everything. With automatic mode on, Drew sends my shape rig straight to the timeline every time I draw and release. No buttons to press and no confirmation, so I have instant feedback. It's perfect for roughing out motion, sketching ideas, or adding strokes and fills right in your composition. In this example, I'm sketching directly over my comp and the shapes stack up as I lift the pen. 
Each one follows the frame duration I've set, so I'm animating on the fly. I can now edit my shapes by selecting them in After Effects and changing the fill color or strokes properties. We were only working with vectors there. That's automatic mode. It's fast, fluid, I want to say frictionless. Now, if I want more control over what gets pushed and when, or if I'm building a more complex design, let's take a look at the manual mode. All right, let's break it down. I grab a steel for my comb, this frame with the magician's hands right up front. I could use the buttons, but I prefer the shortcut uh, Alt plus Shift to create a new canvas. It's faster. Then the Alt plus Tab grabs the current view so I can trace it uh, directly on top. From here, I animate two orbs, floating potatoes of power, let's say, advancing two frames at a time since I set a two frame duration in my Drew presets. I use onion skin to keep the motion fluid and, and visible. The process took around 8 minutes in real time and uh, frame by frame. Once done, I sent everything to the timeline as a single shape layer. This vector based extension keeps both preview and rendering super fast. So it could have been more, uh, more complex illustration with tons of color, but the performance stays smooth. Now I just add a quick glow and I'm gonna go. Like with automatic mode, everything is fully editable. Feel, colors, strokes, timing and all native AE shapes. So that's manual mode in a nutshell. I let your imagination go far beyond what I did here. 